As long as they can walk past us, as long as they're not left We just need to be meters. sensible, that's all. I just. I told you, you're not part of that bubble. If you're following guidelines, when did you last change your nappies? Very intelligent. Very intelligent. That, that's the guidelines. If you're going to follow them, change your nappies. I haven't seen you change them once. They look grubby to me. Are they actually COVID wardens then? Not? Are you COVID wardens? Yeah. Are you, are you going around grassing on people? Not quite. No, we've tried to help people keep open, not shut them down. Uh, making sure people don't miss bubbles and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, great, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Just let you know I'm recording, all right? So, yeah, so am I. Um, right. Why are you here? Exercise. Why are you here? We're getting a daily exercise. Got to exercise out in fresh air. Places, you meant to be walking. Right, I'm having an exercise um, rest. It's very tiring, the exercise. Time you're involved in a protest of some sort in relation to the... How, um, how are we protesting? Does no, this no, look no, like a protest? you the rest of the people. Right. There's plenty so, of here. Yeah, yeah. Video. I'm telling, right. telling you where anyone is. I'm going to ask you to carry on your exercise and move away, please. Why are you asking us to move when we're exercising? Because you need to be moving. Because you need to be moving. You're still okay, moving. Right, it's so, exercise rest. We're allowed to stop for rest right, during exercise. Let's walk it then. All right. Well, should we do some star because, jumps? Because if you don't, then I will deal with you under the Coronavirus Healthcare Protection Act of 2020. So um, how, how long are we allowed to rest for when we're exercising? And what's the exact law? Rest, yeah, five minutes. Right. Ten for me. Get tired very easily. Do you? Yeah, I do. Right. We both know what you're doing. Right. I would suggest, please, that you actually carry on with your exercise away from this area. Why? We, we, Under what power? We can't exercise. If we start walking, we're going to walk up there, and then we're going to walk back here again. Right. There's, there's nothing that says we can't exercise. What is what's the exact area? law that you would be using to, to ask us to move away from here? Healthcare Protection Order 2020 states that you cannot meet in a place to do what you're doing, which is to protest against the... Does it look like we, we're protesting? We're nowhere near doing, them. Right? It's quite simple. We're nowhere near them. You, How is this a protest? There is a specific exemption for exercise and we're there exercising. Is a, there is an exemption for exercise. Doesn't matter if we're doing other exercise. things while we're exercising. There is, there is an exemption for exercise. There is not an exemption for what you're doing at this moment in time. All right? Yeah. You're not exercising. We're, you're not, we're, we're not using exercise. the protest yeah. exemption. Yeah. Walking around in fresh air is exercise. You're not walking around though, are you? But well, because we're, we're not talking to you. Rest, we're start yeah. walking again, we're talking to you. What do you want us to do? Walk off? I quite happily do that because I don't want to talk to you. This is tyranny. It's You're trying tyranny. to get. Yes, it is. Do, do we're out in fresh air. A, a pandemic with a 99.9% .9 survival rate. This is tyranny. As a you, you're trying to find loopholes to bag us. Yeah, you are. What's your definition of tyranny? Um, we're under house arrest. If that's not tyranny, the what the hell is? The government have decided that we need to keep people safe. From what? From yeah. a virus with a 0.02% death rate? Um, you believe in that? Do you think that's a, a threat? Putting people who are committing no crime under house people. arrest is tyranny. The over real pandemic is heart disease and cancer caused by eating animal flesh and secretions. That is what you should be worried about. That is the risk to global health, not a virus that's no worse than the flu. So it's just you two here at the moment. We're not going to answer any of your questions. I don't need to tell you who's well, here. Well, there's more, then you guys will be arrested. I don't know who's here. I've got no idea. Yeah. I've got no idea. You might want to go and have a look around. Go and have a look. And let us do our exercise in peace, rather than harassing us for being out in don't fresh air. Then. Away from anyone. I'm walking up and down. I'm having a rest because you've come to talk to us. Where do you guys live then? <laughs> so you've driven all this way, come and exercise this. Street. I'll tell Depart. you where we live. Down the bag. Watch your foot in, it's a bit uneven.
regulations. F find very, the law very, very find the law are broken. Yeah, well, do you know what, sir? Just, I spend just all day doing that. It, all right? If you if I broke the law, you can Okay, have a good day. See you, see you later, Gemma. We'll see you later on, Gemma, no doubt. Having more exercise, yeah? So here we are, pleased to hear because um, Jeanette, the anarchist, the anarchist has reported us to the police for having a gathering. You know, a few drinks, a few friends, and the police are now here. Wait, sorry. Can I just get you? For you, you. We can't get through him yet. He's busy on another job at the moment. This would have been late 2020, early 21, when I lived with a diagnostically psychopathic police informant who posed as an activist and worked with the police to try and criminalise me. This was a six-month ordeal and one that involved leaked court documents, a nasty physical altercation and me fleeing my home in the middle of the night. It sounds too crazy to be true, but it is and I'll make a full video about it at some point. Her name was Jeanette and as you can see from the screen grab of her profile, slightly edited by one of her other fans, she claimed to be totally anti-lockdowns, forced vaccinations, etc. And she even went on anti-lockdown marches. But it was all fake and I discovered she had been making endless false reports to the police about me. And on this day she called them because me and a few friends were in the garden having a barbecue. How are you doing? Absolutely great, David. How are you? All right, Oliver? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I don't have to answer you that. I'm standing out in public. Yes, but during COVID, you need an excuse to be out of your house. <laughs> you I'm reason. going for a walk, exercise. Okay. Daily exercise. Okay. You it are not going to bag me for standing here. I'm... It doesn't look like you're doing much exercise, Jeff. Oh, I'll just walk around okay, like this. Okay, you can't okay. walk in then, and that's fine. You should have respect for him. He's fighting for your future. I'm getting my exercise. I'm walking. Here we go, back and forth. Lovely job. Happy with that? So what are you doing here? He's getting his exercise as well. He's getting his daily exercise. Standing still filming is not exercise. Okay. Just pace back and forth, Jay. I'm exempt. That's all you need to know. Well, we are actually we are entitled to ask for a little bit more because otherwise people. I'm just exempt. Talking. That is all that you what need you to want, know. Anyway. I'm here to collect my stolen property. Take seat, please. Are you filming me, ma'am? Yep. Good, excellent. What, what is the purpose of that? To make sure you don't abuse your powers like you normally do. What powers do you think I'm abusing then? Well, you're asking me what, what my exemption is, it's none of your business. Now, um, police officers are written into the act that we can ask for somebody to show us, you know, for example, a lanyard. No, I don't, need to, I don't need to provide a lanyard. I don't need to show you anything. Sorry? I don't need to show you anything. I'm exempt. That's all what you need to know. What I'm saying is, if the police officers and police staff are specifically written into the current COVID regulations, that we can ask when you're Yeah, and you asked, asked, and I said I'm exempt, and that's it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, anybody could come in. I'm trying to do it sensitively, right? I'm not asking your personal preference, but I'm sorry. Your personal it, is a personal, it is a personal question. Sorry? My, my health records are none of your business. Right, okay. But and that's personal. I'm asking you to leave the police station. We don't feel you've got necessary reason to be I here. will leave when I've got my stuff. Yeah, so this is why we need to discuss. I'll, I'll, happy, I'll happily wait outside. All I want is to get my stuff and all, go. All, I'll all, happily all, wait all, outside all, if you want to bring asking, my stuff out. All I'm asking, when I ask these questions, is for people to treat me with a level of respect that they <laughs> I don't I don't find your attitude very respectful. Sorry? I don't find your attitude very respectful. What did you, we we are allowed to ask. Yep, you said that. And you asked and I told you and that's it. Do you do you want me to wait outside? No, I just want people to actually understand the laws they keep throwing at us and treat us with the same level of respect. What do you treat the public with? Wow. Basically, your exemption doesn't prevent me from infection. Well, you've got your nappy on and you're behind a screen. I'd say you're yeah, perfectly safe. Your little face nappy, you're fine, aren't you? Don't you're covered. Talk to me like that, otherwise you'll be asked to talk, talk to you yeah, like I'm what? 
Please just get me my stolen stuff. Please just get me my stolen no, property. Not, not you talk to me like that. I'm not talking to you like anything. I'm being perfectly reasonable. No, you're not. You, you've got an attitude. You're going to throw that at me. Got, you have I a tantrum. Well, maybe if you treated the public with respect, they might have respect for police officers. Oh. You've been that all your life, but I really, I'm fed up with it. Oh dear, we're fed up with you oh. and all. <laughs> <laughs> what a child! What a man child! Sorry, I haven't massaged your ego today. Right, Gemma, oh. Have you say you're coming to pick up? Yes, I have. Okay, thank you for your help. It's nice to see you a bit less menopausal today. Sorry. Nice to see you a bit less menopausal today. <laughs> mm, see you later. Have a wonderful day. He cannot ask me to leave the shop because I'm exempt. That's, that's discrimination. I don't. I don't have an exemption card. I don't legally need one. You, you would be breaching the Equality Act if you asked me to leave. It's about safety for all our staff and their customers. Well, that's not a rule in any other shop. It's our rule that we have to wear in So you're asking me to leave the shop? We're saying put a mask on. I like don't have a mask, mask, I'm exempt. So we're saying like the law is asking if you have a mask. There's, there's no law that says I need to show you a, a lanyard. You, you would be discriminating against me if you asked me to leave the shop. Do your something friends have left you. Your friends have left you. Your friends have left you. Where are your friends? Your friends have left you over there. Your friends have left you. Your friends have left you over there. Boring. Do you want to kill your grandmother? Bad and taking money. Just say, do you know what I mean? Did you wear a mask? If you want to kill off your granny, do you know how many people? If you want to kill off your granny and take all that bad, then you can. Do you know how many people died of the flu? Did you I wear a mask that night because the government didn't tell you to, did they? Not so cocky now, are you? I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Not so cocky <laughs> now, you little prick. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see my GP and when I got to the, the doctors, they asked me to wear a mask and I said, no, I'm exempt. They made a bit of a fuss, but I just put my foot down and reiterated that I'm exempt and I have to wear a mask. I've been in before and they've let me in, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they tell me to go and wait upstairs in the waiting room, which I do. And I'm, I was in there for like maybe five, 10 minutes. And then the woman from reception came upstairs and asked me, no, she told me if I'm not gonna wear a mask, I have to wait outside. I mean, obviously it's irrelevant that I've already been in the building and infected everybody in it with the virus I don't have out here like a pariah because I won't cover my face. The intimidation of people would be against the law. I'm not saying that anyone's accusing you of In that case, I would like to report to intimidation when he came over and started shouting at him and told him to right. There we go. Okay, how's that intimidation? He's asked you to leave. You what, coming so? up to a child and telling him to off? His wife, yeah. She's standing in with you signs it's intimidation. Do we look no, intimidating? Right. I'll start again. At what point did I say you intimidated me? You're insinuating that that's no, what we might be doing. I said to you that it would be, okay? That is a hypothetical, yes? Well, I don't work with hypotheticals. Right, okay. What I'm saying is, don't intimidate. It's very simple, okay? He hasn't raised a complaint at this point. Also, bear in mind, allow him, and you bear in mind, social distancing, yes? Okay? You're in a group, yes, less than 30. You are a physical protest movement, so yes, you can gather. However, none of you are wearing masks. We're outdoors. We're outside. We're outside and I'm also you exempt. Still have to <laughs> you still have to social distance. There we go, he's getting his face nappy on look. You still have to social distance and you should wear face masks. Not to be outside, we don't. Yes, it does. The health regulations 2020. There we go. We're in a bubble anyway. We're in the same bubble we were this morning. Doesn't matter. You still have to take reasonable measures to mitigate transmission of the corona. Go, yeah, go and tell that to people on the street, yeah? You are part of a protest, yes? There was more than six of you, yes? No, we were all spread out a minute ago to you guys came to talk to us. Well, you gathered, yes? Because you guys came to talk to us. And I was to everyone was in charge. And I made it nice and simple. Someone could have come and spoken to me by themselves, and had a discussion, and then disseminated that about the rest of you. However, you're not reasonable, so you won't do that. However, as I say, Yes, you're right. Going on Peaceful here. protest is allowed. However, it does still require the wearing of masks, social distancing, whether you're outside or indoors. The law states that. The coronavirus health regulations 2020 state that. Yes? I'm not saying yes or no, 
because I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know. I haven't read it because I think it's a load of absolute okay. BS. I don't feel like I need to wear a mask and I'm standing here. Just Me to neither. Else. Well, unfortunately, the law says you do. Well, so. I don't care what the law says. So. Right, brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Clear enough. Well, bear in mind. Okay, if we come back and we see more of that, then we might start issuing two hundred pounds. Yeah. Well, Is that fair? Here. Is that reasonable? I've given you fair warning. Yes. Not sure I understand actually, but all right. I'm wearing a mask. So you just carry on doing your job, and we'll. Okay, you can protest. I'm exempt okay. as well. Well, we're okay, that's fine. That's fine. But exempt. the point, the point yeah. is, if you aren't exempt medically, okay, whether you're protesting or not, if you're in a group larger than six, the coronavirus regulations say yes, yes, you can protest. Medically. However, you have to put in measures that mitigate the risk of transmission of coronavirus. I.e. Stand a good metre or so apart, wear a mask. That's fantastic. Yeah? Okay? It's not that much of an unreasonable request. Yes, it is, but all well, right. we fine. disagree on that. But you know, we we're all in it together. We're all whether it, whether it, <laughs> we'll agree. Nothing to do with what you're protesting about. Ultimately, the pandemic not, yeah. is real, it is happening. Um, yeah, 0.05% oh, death rate. Oh, look, oh, look at this. More people, not social bubbling. Are you going to chase them down the road and arrest well, no, them? Or part, give them a fine? Of a, not part of a, a oh, right. So you're allowed to congregate in a group of more than six as long as you're not road testing. Well, that's quite a big, big, no, big, 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 big group. Look down there. Look straight down there. People yeah, all yeah. crammed together. More than one group, though. But your common purpose is quite clear that you're in one group. All right, well, duly yeah. noted. Thank you for the advice and have a bloody marvellous day. No doubt. <laughs> I don't need to provide an exemption. You're being discri you're discriminating against me for not letting me on the bus. Then complain to my company. I'm. Uh, you can't do that. Can't do that. It's an essential service. No, you can't. I have every right to be on this bus without a ma mask on. No, sorry. I follow my company policies. Nothing else. If I drive with someone that's got not uh, not got an exempt card. I, I don't legally need uh, an exemption card. So. I've been on three Connect buses today and not been questioned. Then please complain. Thank I will you complain. Come. Thank you. That's really rude. You're just it's I, not, it's not under the Equality Act 2010. You have to let me on this bus. I don't have to let you on this bus. Yes, you do. Though. Yes, you do. You're no. discriminating against me for having a disability. No. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. You can't do that. You're just being a job swerve. It's not if you get your policy. Yes, you are. You're being anal. You're not being, you're polite. You're not being polite. You're not letting me on the bus that I need to go. I'm exempt from wearing a face nappy. I'm exempt. I'm explaining to you my company policy that I have to work to because I work for that company. You that company tells me that I am allowed to I am exempt to you under if you do not have an exemption card, which can be I don't off need an exemption card. I do not need to show you that. I will be making a complaint if you don't let me on the bus. Make a complaint. Oh, I will. I'm following the company policy. No, you're not. I've got on three different Connect buses today. Well, I'm sorry, but... You're discriminating against me for having a disability. Okay. You can't do that. I just have. You can't do that. I just Are you really that anal? Is it your little bit of power for the day? Because you're a bus driver, you want a bit of authority. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? You just need to feel a little bit powerful not by not letting me on the bus. You're discriminating against me by having a disability. I have every right to be on the bus without a mask. I feel it necessary to put that in my yes, face. Yes, I do. Okay. So you were asked before about not mixing bubbles at the can very you, can beginning. You hear how stupid at the that very sounds? beginning, you were asked about it. Oh, but can it. you hear how stupid that sounds? And you bubbles. And you failed. Can you hear yourself? And you failed to stick to that. You're now moving between the bubbles, so I'm going to formally require you to leave the protest. Okay, so I'm asking no. you to leave the protest. No, yeah, I was a meter away. It's on camera. That I was a meter protest, away. If you don't leave the protest, you no, you can't. If you, let, let me please finish talking to Gemma. I, I thought you have to if be you, fine you, if you, you give me a warning. If you don't leave the protest, you'll be given a fixed penalty notice. Okay. So that's how things are going to go. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to think about it. If you're still here and you haven't made a way in a couple of minutes, then I'll come and issue a fine, okay? I was a metre away from them. I was a metre away. It's on camera that I was a metre away. Oi! I was a metre away. I've got that on camera. You are really pushing it today. 
You are really pushing it. I know exactly what you're doing. I've given you a couple of minutes to make your decision, Gemma. The choice is yours. I'm, I'm saying you can give me a penalty. I will not pay it. I won't, won't, won't pay it. Go in there and see what they're doing with their bubbles. You do know I'm reporting all of you for discrimination. I'm building like a case against all of you. I've got so much evidence. So much evidence against you lot. If this is blatant discrimination. I was a metre away from my their bubble. You haven't gone in there to check about their bubbles, have you? This is blatant discrimination. You know it. Do you know what you're doing? So if, if I request an, that you, you retract. Oh, I will be making a complaint. Believe me, I'm collating all of the evidence. We're not, we're not I don't holding... know how to do it. I've done it before no, and no, I won. No, so... We're not holding a court here. Keep safe. I can't. I'm breaking into your bubble now, aren't I? Are you going to report me for that as well? I was a metre no away from that bubble. Your risk assessment. If you're not adhering to your own risk assessment, you sound assessment so for ridiculous. Protest. You sound so stupid. Your brain was listening at you. Your bubbles. It is point of the protest and the law. You've oh, given your law. risk assessment and you've given. You said I you're haven't. Be I haven't six. given any risk assessment. That's a risk assessment for your protest. Please, and if you're going to say you're going to do oh, so it, does it offend you? Does it? Are you that fragile? Are you that fragile? Are you offended? I didn't ask, I didn't say whether I was offended, I asked you not to swear. Why? Because there's children around. Where? He swears, they all swear. We're not offended by swearing because we're not snowflakes. Now you can clearly see that I was a metre away from that bubble. Bubble. So are you happy the couple of minutes I gave Gemma's gone and I'll issue her a ticket? Joke, so you are joke. It's not a breach. If you breach, if you breach it again... Yeah, no, I've asked, it, I've asked her to leave the protest. Oh, okay. So Does that seem to reasonable to you? It's, it's not, the, the point is that, that we've gone through a warning process. I was a metre away from that bubble. I know you're not very intelligent, but you could clearly see that was a metre. It's on camera. Okay. Yeah, but it's on camera. Yeah, it is on camera. I was a metre away from that bubble. Do you want to look at the car? I'll get the tablet. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to pay that. Do you really think I'm going to pay it? Not a chance. Not a chance. You're all brainwashed. This whole thing is a joke. Covid, it's a flu. I do believe that when we had all the black protests in London, that there they were, broke a lot bubbles. Of people during the lockdown that did not, and that was when we were locked down. We're not here to discuss. Whether you're here to no, you're not. You're here to discriminate against. Well. That is what you're here for. I was clearly a meeting. It's on camera. So I will be, I will be contesting that. No, I'm not, well, and, and that's up to you. I'm not, into, I'm not here to enter into a discussion about whether you're a meter away or not. That's, that's but, no, I'll just walk out. Why is there an exception? Good man. Why is there an exception? Good man. Good man. He's been in there with a load of people. Why is he allowed to have What a c***. Do you think I'm going to pay that? Really? I mean, it's very funny. It's, isn't it funny that you can't judge them speeding down here when they're clearly tonning it? But you can judge a metre. No, I'm not listening. Okay. I'm not interested at all. Okay. You can see on the camera that I'm a metre away, and I will be proving that. Okay. That's just more evidence against you all, more okay. evidence of discrimination and harassment against activists. We are a protected minority, you know that. Okay. It's like discriminating against Muslims and black people. Okay. Okay, you don't care. When possible. That's not I was a metre away. I was a metre away. It's on camera. I was filming. I was filming. This is not going to look good on you. I can tell you that now. That's fine. They're giving me a fine for being a metre away because they are discriminating against activists as always. I can't wait to take you all to court. Okay. 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 Oh, don't come close, I've just got a fine. They're giving me a fine for standing a metre away because they're a bunch of discriminating. Go get yourselves in there and see if they're in bubbles, yeah? Go on. A bed wetting snowflakes, worried about a little sniffle. I was a metre away from that bubble. You know it. This is this is good for me. It's just more it's just more evidence against them. I've got hours worth of Oh yeah. That's why he turns around. I've already you know that she was. You know I was a metre away. It's yeah, quite clear. Meter, it's no. on camera. It's on camera. Yes, it is on camera, yeah. and I was a metre away. Okay. So you're just not going to go against them, your little buddies. Hang on. Why didn't you have a? Why didn't you have a like a measuring tape, a measuring stick? Why don't you have a measuring stick? You can't prove that was a metre. Okay. What is that? All you can say is that your entire repertoire of words. Fine, okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Is that the best you've got? Okay. I'm asking you a question. How do you know it was a metre? 
How do you know it was less than a metre? <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. You are absolute clowns. And be, well, they are, aren't they? And be moderate in their approach. Yeah, they are when it's not when it's not activist. Not really moderate. You know that we're at a focus. Yeah, in. we're in fresh air. I was a meter away. You're just discriminating me against me again. Work it out. Well, I will do. Well, go on then. Not gonna help me. Okay. No. Why That's would right. I help you? I was a meter away from their what's bubble. Your, what's your date of birth? Work it out yourself. Have a guess. Yes, I'll get a college to look it up. Go on then, crack on. Well, I didn't have to use How do you know I was a metre away? Less than a metre away. It's very odd that you, you don't judge their speeds when they're clearly turning it down here, but you can judge what a metre is. But you can't tell when someone's doing 50 and a 30. How is that? I don't have a speaker. You don't have a fucking measuring tape either. I told you not to swear. Are you offended by that? No, but there's children around, and if you continue to swear, I'll have to add a Section 5 public order offence to you, which I really don't want to do. <laughs> oh, so God, please, you don't. stop swearing. Control yourself. Control yourself. Try and be impartial. And pull your nappy be up, by the way. Impartial. It's slipping down. Yeah, impartial. That's, you know, it's part of your job requirements is to facilitate a neutral protest, you know, not to discriminate against a protected minority, which is what we are, you know. So who's we? Vegans, we are a protected minority and you're discriminating against us, hence I'm building a case against you. Okay. Against who? All of you. Against all of you, especially you. Especially me? Yep, because you give me a ticket for standing a metre away from that bubble. Okay. Why do you actually find it funny? I bet. You because you're so over. judgmental. You just I go home and cry, don't you? Because you're, you're not actually No, because I find you utterly judgmental. Of course we are, because you come down here and discriminate against us every single week. General, you let farmers General, get away with running General, into us, swearing at us, General, hitting us, you, you do naffle. No, you didn't. I was a metre away from them, as well you know. No, and as well you know, you were told about how the protest was going to work today. I wasn't Staying told. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. I didn't hear. Selective hearing again, do you see? Selective like, hearing, that's yeah. your thing. No, who was it who was standing in the road saying sorry? Who was it last week that couldn't hear someone swearing on the yeah. camera? As if you're giving me a ticket for standing a metre away. It's on camera that I was a metre away. Quite clearly. Quite clearly. But no, go on, give it to me because it just works in well, my favour. I'm, I'm waiting for a colleague to come with your details because you don't want to give them to me. No, so if I you want to hurry up the process, you just tell me your, your details. No, well, you can do the work there. Okay. Here it comes. No, no, they're not giving it to me. Mr. Small Syndrome. So, um, you're being issued this ticket contrary to health regulation, health protection. You're standing too close. You're not in my Coronavirus bubble. Coronavirus local You're not in my bubble. Stand away from me. Regulations please. 2020. You're not in my bubble. You're too close to me. You're going to be COVID contacted breath. regarding your fine and how to proceed with making payment, other options. So <laughs> you're being reported for consideration for prosecution for this breach, okay? You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you didn't okay. mention now something you should rely on in court and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you have anything to say to that caution? That you are discriminating against the minority. I'm going to have you for it. Okay. Any ID on you that I can use just to confirm no. that's you? Yeah. 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 They're thugs, they're just government thugs. What's the violation? Hang on a second, let me finish. But he, she's well a metre away. I was a metre away. You're not a metre away from me, and you're not in my bubble. Are you in my bubble? I want to issue you a fine. I'm sure that's a breach of the health legislation. You're not in my bubble. Why are you standing so close to me? Law doesn't apply to them, does it? No, you're above the law, aren't you? It's supposed to uphold With them. your silly little uniforms. You think you're above the law, don't you? You feel really big and powerful, doesn't it? Discriminating. Gemma, as I said, this is the last thing we wanted to do. Giving you every no, opportunity. You were gunning for me right from the start. Yeah. Yes, you were. Actually, you look like really? a smug. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're smug. You need to 
need to change your nappy as well. When did you last change that? Fresh on this morning, thank you. Fresh on this morning. Guidelines say it needs to be changed more regularly than that. Got your snot on it. You do know they don't work anyway. Do you know what like virologists wear in labs? It's not those. And why are you standing so close to me? You're not in my bubble. You're not you're not a meter away from me. And why have you not gone in there to check their bubbles, can I ask? In the, in the livestock market? Because they're not social bubbling in there. Gemma, as you know, I am a simple constable. Oh, he's good. Yeah, I know you're simple. Simple indeed. That is exactly the word I would use to describe you. Resourcing and that's not me. Oh, right, yeah. So, you just want to target us. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, you do. Why are you picking on me? You mean, it's because she was moving between the bubbles. That's why. Between the bubbles? Listen no, you at haven't. you. Everyone's you been mixing we bubbles. We're, this is the fluidity of movement. We're a protest. Yet you can't stand a distance away. You're breaking the bubbles. Oh, you're not in my bubble. That's issue. No, we've got a trailer coming. I can't see what it is. But... You were asked before yeah. to leave the protest and you refused. And that's what's resulted in you getting a ticket. Well, why should she I'm going to ask you now okay. to leave. Uh, if you don't, you're going to get arrested. Why should she leave? What? Why should I leave? Because that's you've been, you've been bullshit. Given, you've been, uh, you've been given you're just ridiculous. Yeah, but we don't live in a police state. Nanny state is what you like. This is completely, excuse me, are you in charge? This is completely I don't quite understand because when uh, I've got a Asking printout of the regulations for protests okay. and under that it says that the rule of six does not apply. No, it's about, we're not getting into a debate here. If, if, well, if, I want to officer, know why you've asked if, me to if, leave. If the, officer, if the officer has made it very clear around the reasons as to why he wants you to leave, that's been set. If, if you're not, not going back, if you're not going, to, be if you're not going to leave, um, then you will be arrested. On, on Under what, what power? For, for failing to comply, failing with, to comply regula with, the with the regulations and a well, I want direction to, to, to leave. Okay. You can't give her a ticket and arrest her. She no, but no. she's not. But I, she's asked her, I asked her to leave, yeah. and I said, please leave. Yeah. She said, no, I'm not going to do that. Why did you, so you not warn her? That I explained, she's, she's, she's I explained when I asked her to leave. I haven't if, heard her be warned But, but, but she, but but she has had a warning. Did you I get warning? Her, I said to her, no. if you don't leave, I'm going to give you a ticket. I don't care. No, you didn't. Said, you said you were going to give me the ticket before you asked me to leave. It's on camera. You're supposed to warn someone because we're at a protest. I think that you is, should choose one or the other. You've get, you have been deceptive. No, you asked her to leave and she said she didn't want to. And you I then said, said you'd give her a ticket, 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 but you didn't yeah. say, I'm giving you a ticket and then you'll be legally asked to leave. So she's been given a £200 fine for nothing. This is completely unfortunate. Really so no, no you can't do both. You, you pick at me. Okay, you should have asked me to leave. five minutes. I don't want to eat up into your time. Is that the other side of the roundabout? All road as well. The whole of the meat market and all road. You've got five minutes. Ultimately, if you, if you don't, don't leave, leave, you will be arrested. Will be arrested. Oh, you, I okay. knew you were gunning for me today. You make it so obvious. We're not gunning for anyone. Though. Yes, you are. You're such. You're so transparent. But you, I am why, collating why evidence against you. Why is it always the vegan protests that we always get a problem? And, and yet the Black Lives Matter will never get this. They thousands had, they of them congregating on the street in London during lockdown, and nothing happened. Hello. There. Hello. I would like to. I think it's completely disproportionate that you've asked me to leave the event. Right. But I've been given tickets. Listen, Gemma. You have been given a direction to leave the event. Because yeah, but of, why? Under what power? I wasn't here. I'm not going. I'm not going to get into that. You've been given a direction to leave. If you refuse to leave, then you'll be arrested. And it'll be up to us to provide but you the evidence. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done Debbie, anything talk, wrong. I can't talk to both of you at the same time. Okay. You say you haven't done anything wrong. The officers disagree. I wasn't here. I'm not going to enter into a debate about the evidence now. That'll be for us to prove a court. I'm not going to debate evidence standing here now. That's not going to happen. And why did he come? At, I, I wasn't in a social bubble with that with him. So why did he come to my social bubble? To interact with you and give you a ticket and ask Oh, so leave. that's all right, is it? I was interacting right, with someone when I was a metre no, away. You were not a metre missing, away from me. Missing, you're missing no, I'm point. not missing the point. You are blatantly okay. discriminating against me. Gemma, are you going to leave? Yes or no? What does the ticket involve? Because I don't think she's been told yet. What, what I haven't been told involved? what the fine is, what the ticket is, anything. I, I said to you as part of it that you would be contacted. I read that off the No, tablet. but what is, what is the, the punishment of the ticket? It's obviously a fine. What is the fine? 
incidentally ticket is £200 and it reduces to £100 you can pay within 14 days. That's a good <laughs> for, for taking part in a legal protest. No, no, oh, no, no, I'm no, so no. going to have you for this. I am no, no so going to have you no for this. A ticket so much for evidence part in a legal protest. But that's all you. You are discriminating. No, you are absolutely despicable. What I think you think you're above reproach. You can be here and discriminate against a protected minority. No, but it's fair we understand. Yeah, I will leave the protest, but I will be contacting my solicitor as soon as I leave the premises. You are you are disgusting and I'm going to have you for this. Let me just take your badge number again. 1935. So what's cast as leaving the event? Where would that be? Where's, where do you have to where, Where's the parameter of the event? I want you to leave. Okay. Yeah, where is leaving? Where does that qualify as? Go home. Go home? You can't enforce me to go home. No, of course I'm not going to force you to go home. But I'm I want to know what the vicinity is, because as far as I'm concerned, that is this area. The other side of the roundabout. The other side of the roundabout. They're gunning to arrest me. They're looking for any excuse don't to bag me. Do it. Don't let them do it. You are don't fascist them, don't, scum. Don't let them. Don't let them use it. Police state, them. come in. Is, Gemma? Is that your name, Gemma? Yes. Okay. So, like my colleague said, if you go the other side of the roundabout, there's no need for us to arrest you. We don't want to. Yes you do, yes you do, you are gunning for me, you've issued me a ticket completely unfairly, disproportionate me breach of Covid. And to be fair, they didn't point out to her that if she didn't leave, she would have to get a ticket and then leave. Give me a radio, so she's issued a ticket and refusing to leave I'm not refusing to leave, I said I will leave, I want to know what the parameter is. Okay, so like my colleague just said, you have but they didn't tell you when they issued you the ticket that no. you'd have to leave as well. No, you didn't, didn't I wasn't told that. Gemma, have to leave anyway, Gemma she I think it's all clarification, this is called Meat Market, so Meat Market and Hall Road, that area is, is defined Can as leaving the area. Question? And if you're not, we're, we're going to give you five minutes to be out of the area. Okay. On the 8th of January 2022, I was arrested at Norwich Livestock Market for several maliciously alleged offences. My friend and housemate Jamie was also arrested when I passed in my phone to stop the police breaking it. We were both feeling ropey that morning, but put it down to a cold that was going round plus the fact we were both smoking heavily at the time and it was early in the morning, etc. At the NIC, I was tested for COVID, Jamie refused, and the test came back positive. When we were released, we had no money on us and no way of getting home. So despite the fact we both had COVID, Jamie tested positive at home and it was obvious that if I had it, so did he. The police sent us home on a public bus. They could have organised the van to take us, but instead they chose to break the COVID regulations they had been so tyrannical in enforcing with me. Absolutely unbelievable. A few years later, and I doubt anyone in this video feels even an ounce of remorse for the way they treated those of us who saw through it all, despite the revelations since. The inefficacy of the vaccine, the fact it wasn't even tested for transmission, the blood clots the Tory government making a mockery out of the absurdly nonsensical rules they probably thought it was hilarious that people actually took seriously in the first place. Those who didn't have the vaccine and refused to live under house arrest were persecuted and treated like pariahs, proving we've learned nothing from the history books. I don't want to say I told you so more. Never forget and never again.